you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 37 here on the frozen rock, and I am slowly working on getting the uh, coal facility up to full production. So right now, it is processing because I've already put coal in the boilers. So we can see that we've got uh, coal in here, and so it should uh, hold it over until I can get the bins filled up and or the large cargo bays <clears throat> from down below from the drilling operation. And that's what we are currently working on. I got the pipe ball uh, down last time, and I got an idea. I think with the way I want to do this, uh, we'll come down here. I want to use pistons and rotors and a drill. So we'll come down into here. I think I'm going to actually take one of these pipes out. Uh, so I think this pipe has to come out. And then we can go put uh, put that piston in right. Actually, I probably should take out one more. Yeah, let me here. Let me see if I. Uh, of course, I don't have stuff for a block. Uh, let me uh, let me run back up and grab some materials, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I got uh, materials to kind of build some scaffolding in. And I think what I want to do is put, uh, let's see, let's do this. Let's just kind of throw that right about there. And put that one there. Oop. Ah, that uh, was no good. I need there and then there. I should be able to hop up here. And if we, let's see. Okay, I think I'm good. All right, let's take this one out. We're now going to put this piston right here. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let's get this built out. Oh, I thought I had everything. All right. Well, let's see if we can see how much this we need. All right. Okay, let's go grab that and we can finish out the piston. And then I'm going to put a rotor, an advanced rotor on the end of that. And hopefully, let's see, eight large tubes, four large, oh, come on, don't I have those? Uh... No, I guess not. All right, fine, fine, fine. I guess I'm going to have to run over to the other facility. Do I have anything in here at all? No, I guess I emptied that all out. All right, let me go over here. Let's unload what I have. I don't 
Need that, that, that will... I'll leave all those parts here. That stuff will take over with me. We get rid of that. Put that in the... Alright, I'm going to go over to the other facility and grab parts for a rotor and a drill and a uh, conveyor block and that should get us started on being able to start drilling uh, for coal. It's just going to be a basic one. I just don't know how much I need to put on it because it's going to take I got to get a lot of space cleared out before I can even start drilling so we'll see how that all works out down there all right I'll be back in a little bit all right I'm back with gathering up parts and whatnot uh, I did get uh, more stuff uh, let's grab these as many as we can and I can start building out a little bit of this over here. I just want to do a little bit of this all the time as I'm running back and forth and getting parts. That way we can have this all in place eventually. So let's get these welded up and we'll head back down into the mine here shortly. And let's see here. And I don't think there's any reason we can't fill this gap back in. Of course. All right. Uh, red. And let's go ahead and put that there. Oh. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Alright. There, that's what we want in there. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go grab a few more blocks and we'll at least cover this up. That way we can't see how that's... It's got that uh, unsightly looking hole. And we can't see the mechanics behind filling up the bins. kind of like to hide stuff as much as I can, actually. And as you can probably see, I have put in a charging station over here so that uh, we can keep that fully charged. It should be fully charged up now. So I'm going to disconnect that. That'll make it a little bit easier. And uh, being able to get in and out of the cargo bay. Let's see if we can finish up these last couple of blocks, then we'll get down and into the mine. We needed to finish building out the piston, I believe. And then we wanted to put a rotor on, an advanced rotor. And then we can put our another piston on I believe actually I think what I am going to do will be to put a conveyor junction on put that right there and we can throw that right there we're getting quite a bit of materials over here hopefully that will help us as we are building. I don't have to run back over to the... I want eight. Eight. Okay, that should have grabbed everything, I hope. All right. Oh, come on. I 
know I got large tubes over here. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Let's flip this back over. Okay, this should do it. Alright. There we go. I didn't have power. I had it on charging. Uh, Alright, let's get down here and see what we can do. be nice to be if we can get all of the mechanics in place here so right now I needed to finish oh, I needed more large tubes come on then I grabbed all of those and large tubes. So I need more large tubes. Uh, all right, let me run back up there and get those. A lot of, a lot of work building up this operation. All right, large tubes. I needed large tubes. I think I needed eight of them. Do we have any in here? No, I think all the large tubes should be over here. Uh, yeah, let's grab ten of them for right now. And so, let's do this. Nine... Rotor nine. Okay, now all right, so hopefully we've got everything that we need for the rotor as well. So we can finish that piston. And... So that piston will go up and down. And the rotor will go around. Alright. Alright, that one's done. Let's get up here and finish up this. Okay. So that piston is in place. I think I need to get this out of the way. Now, let's see if we can get... Uh... Advanced rotor. Of course I need to drill out some stuff. All right. So as I make space, I will uh, catch back up with you so that when we're ready to put this rotor on, we can do that, and then we'll start figuring out what's next after that. All right. I think I got my rotor on. Let's weld it up. Let's hopefully I got it. All the parts here. There's that. And there's that one. What? Oh, come on. Two large tubes. I thought I had everything. Alright, let's go grab those real quick. I actually probably should, while I'm up there, grab the parts for the conveyor junction. Because that's going to go on next. And then we can put the drill in place. 
Let's see. Large tubes? Nope, but we could drop this off. I needed two large tubes. Alright, let's grab ten of those. Now, for the conveyor junction... Uh, let's see. What? Do I want to put a round one on there? Wait, how do you think that will look? That, that might be some interest. So let's see if we can get the parts for this. Uh, hopefully I got small tubes over here. Okay. So, we've got this. We should be able to attach it. If I was going to make an open pit, I'd uh, set up a, a rather large, complex... You can go right there. Perfect. All right. So let's see if we can get all of this stuff welded up. All right, that's welded. And that's welded. Now I should do a couple of things here before I get too carried away. Uh... Oh, of course. I don't have any... Alright, we can do that up above. I, I want to share inertia. And that rotator... Or rotor. Oh, there we go. Of course, it's up, up above up there. At some point, I'm going to have to put a control seat of some sort in down here. And... it, Hoping it's not completely to the end of the f field here, but we're going to mine the coal and <clears throat> and the rock, so I think I will drill it out that way, put the drill in, and then it can start spinning around, and then we'll just end up making one large hole. So let's uh, go up. All right drill is going to be a real pain in the rear end to get it into place. Alright, so I needed... What did I need? Oh, God. Uh, growing old and senile. Uh, oh, I was coming up here to... All right. Let's see my advanced rotor. Is that it? Oh, boy. I think that's when I just... Shit. <sighs> Why is that being a little funky? All right, that should be selected. All right, what's the other one? Okay, so this one is, this rotor is the one up at the base. All right, so this is the one, because I don't have any velocity set on this yet. I don't want to lock it. 
Well, yes I do. I want to lock it for right now. And that's... Okay. Now I have a piston. I think this is the only piston. I should only have one piston. Oh, of course. Uh... Do I have Where do I have my other pistons? All right, I tell you what. Let me let me pause here and I've got to figure this stuff out and then once I get it figured out, I'll catch back up with you. All right, I've got the drill to where it's in place. I gotta weld it up. So let's see how we do with this. Of course I still need some more stuff. Uh, I couldn't carry it all down. So let's go up and grab the rest of it. Uh, this is gonna present some challenges until I can get room cleared out down there. I think uh, I'm, I'm probably going to have to revamp that drill. Alright, there's all the rest of my stuff for the drill. Now the challenge will be how much that that drill is going to clear out as it spins around. So in other words, is this part here going to end up catching? So let's finish getting this. There we go. That's all welded up. Let's see if we can at least turn this on. Alright, it's grabbing stone in. Which should be going up to... the large cargo containers up above. Which I believe that that's that right there, alright. We got to be careful here that we don't step in front of that drill because we will die rather abruptly. But that is grabbing gravel, which the gravel will haul, we'll take and haul that back over to the main base. All right. So now let's start with the rotor. Let's go to the advanced rotor. Pretty sure it was this one. And let's give that just ever so slightly. That velocity. Oh, you know what? I think I locked it. All right. Advanced rotor. Okay. Let's give it a little more speed. Let's see if that's not, uh... Okay. Let's 
scope point one. Okay, it's coming this way, of course it is. Alright, so that is... I think what I'll do while I am at it... Let's get a screenshot of this. Before it all explodes. Alright. Stop this. Let's uh, lock it. Because this is kind of what I was worried about was this right here. So let's turn this drill off. You know that. I think once I get a full circle out of here, then we'll be able to do a lot more with this. So I'm going to clear out a little bit of this, just making for sure. Alright, hopefully... going to end up setting up a control seat and all of that up above with a camera but right now I'm just trying to get things into place so let's turn that drill back on and the advanced let's unlock it And so, so far so good. We actually should be starting to fill coal up there. Okay, so far so good. Oh no. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, well, it's going to be back to the drawing board. Well, maybe this is a good screenshot. Uh, let me do this. Let's see if we can't... Uh, do that. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this portion of the video. Let's let's go back upstairs, up above, and we'll finish out the video up there. I got to turn that rotor off. We did get some coal, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we got. Uh, how much coal we got in here. Oh yeah, see? We got quite a bit of coal. Got quite a bit of stone, too. So all of that's going to get hauled back. Alright, well, we had a disastrous sir uh, in the end. Uh, but, that's how we get this thing figured out. Alright, everyone. 
If you uh, enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That really helps the channel out a lot. All right, you space engineers out there, you keep building away. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.